Budweiser has been a staple beer in America since its introduction in 1876. It is a brand that values traditions and even breeds their own Clydesdale horses for parades and commercials. The company reached a pinnacle of success in 2003 when they sold 30 million barrels of beer. Since this time, Budweiser's sales have been rapidly declining. Bud Select, a lighter version of Budweiser, experienced a 61% decrease in sales from 2008 to 2013. This is due to Budweiser's inability to reach young drinkers and the rise of popularity of craft beers. In 2014, craft beer saw an 18% rise in volume. For comparison, the total beer market only increased by 0.5%. With the marketing team at Budweiser being aware of these declining numbers, they launched a three-year Super Bowl ad campaign. In the first ad, Budweiser is highlighting the Clydesdale tradition. This ad shows a devout Budweiser worker breeding a Clydesdale and developing a bond with this particular horse. When the Clydesdale is taken to fulfill his destiny as a parade horse, the breeder begins to realize that he misses the horse very much. In the end, friendship prevails and the horse and breeder are reunited. Budweiser also included a hashtag at the end of this ad to attract a younger audience. In 2013, the marketing team was added again with another Super Bowl ad. This time, they added a puppy to the friendship circle. Despite the puppy living next door, the puppy and horse become great friends. Well, you only need the light when it's burning low. Only miss the sun when it starts to snow. Only know you love her when you let her go. Only know you've been high when you're feeling low. Only hate the road when you're missing home. When the puppy is sold to another only owner, the horses come to go. save him. And you let her go. He then comes back to the farm to live with the horses and the breeder. As you can see, Budweiser used another hashtag at the end of this ad. In the third and final ad, the puppy accidentally gets lost. When I wake up well, I know I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be the man who wakes up next to you. And when I go out, he spends the duration of the ad trying to get back home to the Clydesdale farm. I'm gonna be the man who goes along with you. The horses save the puppy once again, and consumers everywhere melt over the cuteness of the commercial. Despite USA Today naming Puppy Love the best Super Bowl ad of 2014 and the popularity of these ads among consumers, Budweiser's sales were still declining. In 2015, Budweiser decided to drop the love and attack the root of the problem, craft beers.
Even though these ads were very disliked by consumers, Budweiser tried the strategy again in the 2016 Super Bowl ad. The ad received the same amount of backlash, and even though Budweiser got a shout out from Peyton Manning at the end of the Super Bowl, I'm going to drink a lot of Budweiser tonight, Tracy. I promise you that. Which caused 81% of social media conversations to include Budweiser references, the marketing team is still failing to reach young drinkers. According to Business Insider, a study found that 44% of drinkers aged 21 to 27 have never even tried Budweiser. It will be interesting to see if Budweiser's marketing team can reach young consumers in 2017, and what lies ahead for the future of Budweiser.